Hi everyone, this is Ruben from Crown Teams and I want to share some great stuff that we have available in the latest version of our combined team. I will specifically talk about combined listings available for Shopify Plus customers, color swatches, variant meta fields, some new blocks and sections that we've added in our recent updates and finish off with some tips on how to use the theme functionality and Shopify native discounts to create product sets without an app. First of all, let me showcase some new stuff that we've added earlier this year in version 2.4.0 where we had a major update in which we've added lots of cool new blocks in product pages such as a size chart which you can use in product pages to show some content in the form of a model window. This is a block in the product page, it's called size guide. You just have to add a block select the page which contains your size chart or other information in this guy this case i will uh, use it for product specifications and then when i click it you can see that the model window contains all the informations from the product that i chosen you can show the icon or hide it, you can change the page, you can also use it with dynamic content and you can also choose whether you want it, this to open in the same window or a new window or a model pop-up. We've also added other useful blocks such as an image block. This can be used to showcase uh, various promotions in the, in the product page directly, directly here or uh, have other product uh, images or uh, use it for banners um, it supports links you can choose to open these in the new window but the biggest feature in the product page in this version was the sticky add to cart functionality which is a great way to improve conversion rates this can be enabled in the product page settings uh, okay it appears here at the bottom after uh, I scroll uh, the current call to action buttons out of the screen. Uh, you can uh, change its uh, design with some options. And for mobile devices, it will always appear when the add to cart buttons are not in view. So you can simply add to cart the product that you are viewing from this uh, little link. Talking about conversion rates, we've also added a new block to the article pages, uh, which allows you to feature a product directly in the articles. To add this, you need to go to the article section and add a cross-selling product. So let's say that in this article, I'm talking about uh, the speaker. So I just want to put it here. I can choose the style and uh, write a different title. Product. It can be, it can either be, whoops, uh, where was it? Uh, okay, here, it can be a new product. It can be a cross-selling product. Uh, you can even use meta fields in order to connect this uh, product to each uh, blog article individually so you can add this product directly to the cart from uh, from the blog pages other functionalities that we've added include an age verification pop-up which can be used to comply with cert certain age restrictions laws if you have um, website which requires this you can just enable it and uh, play with the play with the sec settings here uh, nobody will be able to enter the site unless they acknowledge that they are over the age in terms of design we've added options for uh, section background colors in uh, some sections also for gradients we have also added the ability for you to choose how the product grid appears on mobile devices, uh, either in one column or in uh, 
two columns add a new features to the main slideshow to the horizontal slideshow such as autoplay text blending modes as you can see border radius more customization options to the header in terms of alignment and uh, design video support in uh, rich text sections uh, yeah and inside the promotion card sections and inside the product pages an option to choose the color of the add to cart button now back to conversion when we've built combine we wanted to create this unique grid that has all the product information in it so that customers can quickly buy your products without going to the product page but we've also discovered that there are certain scenarios where the product grid might become cluttered if there are a lot of options especially on mobile devices so that's why in version 2 0.50 we've added a new option to the product grid by block allowing to you to display additional options in a modal window so you can have a more cleaner grid to use this you simply have to go to the quick buy block in any product grid and in the new options display type choose model when you do this for all the products that have options instead of the options list as you had them before you have a choose options button now which will open a model window that allows you to select the product that you want and add it to the cart of course both of these options can be used at the same time you can have grids that have the previous quick buy options with all the variants in the grid and have certain grids that have the options inside the model window to edit the model window we have a new product page template which is the quick view template that allows you to play with the fields to play with the options style everything um, and even add new blocks such as inventory levels or uh, whatever information you want to add in this custom uh, model windows that will appear now let's turn back to the product page and see some new stuff that dropped in recent updates one is the support of shopify native color swatches in the theme now our all methods of adding custom color swatches to the product options still work but it's recommended that in the future you go with shopify's native method since this will be improved more and more it's pretty straightforward to set up the new color swatches as these options will appear as soon as you add a category meta field or a color option in the in the theme so let's say that I have these uh, sneakers in uh, brown uh, here in the category meta fields I can oh. okay here I can do so and here is color brown so new color swatch appears here I'll quickly do this for other products uh, let's see just one more oh I have to choose a base color okay see how nice it appears here the second big thing that we've added in our most recent update is variant meta fields so if you want to display some custom data specific to each variant you can do this now by creating custom meta fields and connect them to the variant meta field block in the product page so if I go to the product page blocks I have a variant meta field here and you can see that it requests me to input the variant meta field key I can't connect it like this because it's not a product meta field available in the product page it's a variant meta field so I need to go back to the admin in the settings the custom data and here in variants you can see that I've already created the meta field definition for length 
so I need a namespace and key to put it here and also a title if I want to display a title before the meta field. Now this product doesn't have the variant meta field set so uh, let me just go back to the product uh, and edit the meta field. To edit the meta field you have to go to the variants. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so here in the variant editor you will see the meta field that you've created. So let's say that uh, I can I should write the length here and uh, let me write it for this other meta field, other variant. And then when I go back to this page, I should see the okay, the new meta field here. So it's length, you can see how the value changes if there is a value for this current variant. So in this way, you can add much more data to the variants on your products, including uh, images, uh, measurements, links, uh, file uploads, or any kind of content that is supported by Shopify in Metafield. Lastly, one of the most anticipated updates of this year was the combined listings Shopify app update, which right now works just for Shopify plus stores, but you can use this app to natively group products into groups by an option. So I have this store with six products in it, some socks and some shoes. And let's say that I want to group all these in just two products. After you install the app, you need to go to the combined listings app create a combined listing, choose a title, and let's say Christmas special. This is for the socks. And I'm adding the three socks. I have to choose the option by which the combinations are created. So here it is. Okay, I need to choose a different option name. So let's name it sock color, socks color. Yeah. And then I have this new product page that if you preview, you will see that has no, no images because I have to add media because it really acts as a completely different product. So let me just add some images and save it. So now you can see that if I go to this page, I have Christmas special black, I can choose the size. If I go, if I change the tax color, it's a different product. Um, everything changes. So this means that you can have custom sections in a custom combined uh, listing products. And here's also my uh, variant meta field in the red version. Let's quickly create another product uh, with the three shoes that I have. So what's great about uh, having uh, different products uh, combined in different product templates is that you can uh, create really dynamic and rich product pages. Uh, for example, in this uh, example, I have a media with text overlay, whoops, section as a custom header that is connected with a meta field, uh, a product meta field, so that each product has a different header. So these are all different products. You can see both in the breadcrumbs, um, in the variants, in the URL. But combined listings don't work only in product pages. They work in any context. So you can expect them to work inside model pop-ups. Uh, as uh, discussed before, so you can see how uh, the model quickly changes the product. So this will again change all the product information that you may have here and allow you to add a proper item to the cart. Um, but they also work when the options are in line. You can see in this example how um, I have, for example, let's take this one. So I have the thumbnails of the brown version. 
um, in here I have the thumbnails of all the versions. Now if I change this, you can see that everything will change. So now I can only scroll through the thumbnails of the uh, dark brown version, uh, select the size and add it to the cart. Uh, this works for all products. So this means that you can really use this in collection pages, in product sets, product bundles, uh, and everything will change in product thumbnails like badges, ratings, and any custom data that you might have here and it is tied to a certain combined product. So this allows you to use our combined theme to create product sets and bundles based on combined listing products. So in the end of this video, I want to show you how to create a specific product discount using just our theme and Shopify's automatic discount functions. So in this store, we have shoes and socks. Let's say that I want to offer a free pair of socks for any pair of shoes purchased. I'll go to the discounts page, uh, add an automatic discount. Uh, it's by uh, X get Y. Um, it's an automatic discount. Let's call it uh, free socks. Uh, I went to add it for one shoe. So if uh, somebody purchases a pair of shoes, they get a pair of socks for free. One per order. I'm saving the discount. And then I'll go to a page where I want to add this uh, product set. So here we have it, a product set section. Let me choose the two products. So I'm choosing just the main products. In this case, the parent combined product, which is Christmas special and uh, Royal sleep. Editing my section, uh, free socks for a pair of shoes. Okay, and let's see how it works. So I have the, the product, the shoes, the socks, I can choose uh, color. As you see, everything in the product thumbnail changes. I choose the size and then I pick my socks and I can add everything to the cart. Two products were added to the cart. And if I'm going here, you can see that the socks are free, right? I have the automatic discount product badge. So this allows you to really use uh, the product sets and product bundles sections in a really creative way uh, using uh, combined uh, products and automatic discounts. But of course, uh, this works for uh, regular products as well. We already have this covered in our original video tutorial of the combined theme. So this is what we've been up to in 2024. We really did a lot of work in our theme, constantly improving the feature set, performance and accessibility. But we're not stopping here. 2025 could bring even more exciting updates as theme blocks are in the horizon at Shopify. So we are really looking forward to push even more exciting updates next year and see the amazing stores that you, our merchants, are building using our themes.